Welcome back to Snacking with Selby, and this week we have a treat for you. See what I did there? We have <laughs> defensive end James Smith Williams. What's going on, man? Nothing much, man. I'm glad to enjoy this uh, red velvet cheesecake with you. You know, we've had a lot of things uh, on, on the show so far. We've had cheesecake, but not red velvet cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And I ask everybody this all the time before they even get into the stuff: is why, why red velvet? It was my mom's favorite uh, from the Cheesecake Factory, and like I, I had it for the first time, and I was like, "This is amazing!" And it's been my favorite ever since. So, so you peach right there. That was <laughs> it. That was like that was the best dessert I'll ever have. Yeah. So let's give it the final test let's here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm impressed. You know what? I'm impressed. I am too. <laughs> I'm, impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm <laughs> impressed. This is actually the first time I've ever made a red velvet cheesecake. This is good. Yeah, I mean, like this is. I am. I'm shocked to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, I've been I'm baking since I was like a kid. So I hear you, but everyone says that. Everyone's right. like, oh, I've been baking. I can cook. Mm -hmm. I can golf. Never true. <laughs> but in this case, it was. And let's be honest, we wouldn't have a snacking with Selby show if I was terrible at baking. Let's say it'd just be some crazy prank show. If, I, if I'm being honest, I thought you were gonna go to cheesecake and just buy one and just plate it. That's like what I was Man. expecting. How dare you? <laughs> well, <I'm expecting. laughs> so how how have you been doing so far? How do yeah. you feel like you've been going along in your development? Yeah, it's been awesome getting to play with guys like, you know, Deron, John, and mm -hmm. Tez across me, where it's Casey, F.A. We're all bringing something different to the table, but I've had a lot of fun um, with winning games and making plays. So it's been a really exciting year for me, and I've really enjoyed it. That always seems like a really fun group, just yeah. watching you know, just watching <laughs> y'all interact. I mean, what's it like in the film sessions, just hanging out with each other? What's that like? It's wild. Yeah. It's, it's the wild, wild west in our room, but um, we're all professionals in the day. We all know what we need to do to win games, so we have a lot of fun with it, but we do it in a way that's you know conducive to winning. It's the funniest person in the room. I, I would but, argue that it might be you. I, look, look, I have my moments, but like honestly, Casey's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, right. he has he has some good dry humor. Oh man, it's everybody. It just depends on the day. You never know who's gonna be the funny one that day, but someone will have a great joke and will laugh for like five minutes straight. It's it's a really good time. So interesting about you, you played in high school. You played linebacker, right? Is yeah. That right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, how was that transition going from linebacker to playing close to the line of scrimmage? Yeah. So high school, I was outside linebacker, and I started at NC State at 195. So they moved me to nickel. So I played DB okay. for my first time ever. Wow. Um, in college. And I got cooked every day. Uh, one on ones were awful. I dreaded the period. <laughs> spring, the spring game was terrible. Ended up getting like 225 that year. They made me the Will linebacker uh, during camp and never played linebacker before. I'm like trying to diagnose things I've never seen before. Right. So that's that's a learning curve. And then uh, by game one, I'm at defensive end at like 2:30. Yeah, I, well, I would imagine that going all these different places in the defense that probably helped you learn a little, a lot about how the defense operates as a whole, right? Yeah. Well, what I think it really helped me do was um, just kind of work on different skill sets, right? Like mm -hmm. if you're a defensive end, you're not going to work on dropping, but we do drop. So having that yeah. ability from having that you know, semester in college mm -hmm. of being a DB, it helps. So whenever, you know, whenever you got drafted, obviously I'm doing research here on mm -hmm. you and you had getting like 60 pounds yeah. or something like that. I mean, a lot, a lot of us gained 60 pounds, <laughs> right, especially right. around this time of year. <laughs> but what was that yeah. process like? Um, it's actually really funny. So I want to believe it was like my second summer there. They were like, hey, like we need you at like 260-ish. I went to NC State, I'm from Raleigh. So my mom's right down the road. So she took the Rocks meal plan of like seven meals a day. And she used to show up at my uh, apartment in college at like 5 a.m. with the seven meals already made. Wow. Yeah, and I eat them all. And she show up at night and take the tough board back away. And then we do it again for like the entire summer. And I gained like 25 pounds that summer. So it worked, <laughs> right? So yeah, that was how we went about it. What were some of the meals? Oh man, it was it was awful. Like I, I, I appreciate <laughs> my mom made. It was really delicious, but it was like start the day off with like eight eggs and like a steak. Oh my god. Yeah, and then like three hours later, it was like rice, green beans, and like salmon. I would imagine that eating eight eggs and a steak every day, that that has to wear on you after a while. You will eventually stop liking steak and eggs. Yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> so whenever Connor goes down there and make and makes breakfast, you're, they're not you're not eating no, the eggs. No, no, I am now. I am now. I'm not. I'm not still traumatized from that experience. You see, so you mentioned Casey. Yeah. And he, well, he got a touchdown. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So would you rather have a sack? or a touchdown? I think it depends on how it happens. We played like an RK highlight tape a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. where he had like the, he uh, deflected it to himself. Yeah. And then touchdown, he sure. caught, caught the pick, right? 
touchdown, and then Casey's about the ball being in the end zone, jump on it, also a touchdown, but like one's kind of a little cooler than the other. It looks right? a little, yeah, right, sure, right, yeah. Right, right, right. And maybe you consider the context of, this, of the situation either, too. I mean, we, right. we'd already kind of won that game. Right, it, I mean, it, I'm it, happy it is icing on the cake. It is very right, nice. Right, yeah. exactly. He got the gritty, he took his helmet off. It was, I mean, that's like a top five core memory of mine for the rest of my life was seeing him do that. It was hilarious. How but, would you rate it? Uh, like negative 12. <laughs> But the fact that it's Casey makes it like plus 20. Yeah. So like, you know, you got to factor yeah. in all of it this. It evens out, so it comes <laughs> right. back to like a straight zero. So yeah, yeah, right, exactly, <laughs> right, was, yeah, right. Well, man, I've enjoyed this. This mm. has been great. Thank you for coming on Snacking with Selby, presented by Safely, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it, thank you.